What's up guys, Bobcat here and welcome to Trine Enhanced Edition. Now, at the end of my um, Wilson videos, I did say that I was going to start playing, well, Trine, and here we are. Now, I haven't played Trine in a very long time. Not since, uh, let me just have a look, I wrote it down. Not since se the 4th of September uh, 2012, so I haven't played this game in 8 years. So, we're going to be playing it. I did play Trine 3 on the channel. And was a bit disappointed at how that game ended. And then recently, as in like a month ago, when I started doing Rogue Legacy, I noticed that Trine 4 came out at some point. And I thought to myself, hey, let's just do the Trine series again. So here we are. Also, I just got an achievement for uh, starting up the game. The Enhanced Edition specifically. So that's fun. Okay. Uh, there's achievements. Okay, it's loads up Steam. Um, I did import my save because it asked me to. So, you know... Mm. Well, I could do easy. I could do hard. I'm just going to do medium. There isn't achievements for doing on hard, but I'm not here for achievements. I'm just here to play the game for the time being, because the achievements are all... Collect all the experience in this level, which means me doing lots of secret hunting, which I'm really bad at. So, let us, um... Well, get started. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, Kingdom on the outskirts of the kingdom Hold up. near the Astral Academy, a thief. Okay, stop. Back to my menu. I'm gonna do this again. Cause I realized a terrible mistake I'd made. Where's the option? Um On. There we go. Much nicer. Fix that problem immediately. Okay. Uh cool. Uh, choose save slot. Heh, <laughs> you can see. That's my first, well. Yeah, it's supposed to be my first one. So, slave slot 2. Mm-hmm. And we start again. Okay, we've got subtitles on this time. Try this again, shall we? Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, kingdom was prospering but peace could only last so long the old king died with no descendant to the throne the kingdom fell into chaos lust for power blinded warriors and wizards alike new kings emerged only to fall the next day but the madness of men would soon be overshadowed by a far greater evil the magic that once gave life and good fortune had transformed into something sinister. One by one, grave by grave, the dead began to rise, feeding off the energy that grew stronger with each passing night. Fear spread throughout the kingdom, and it was soon abandoned. On the outskirts of the kingdom, near the Astral Academy, a thief carried out her cunning plan. She had learned of an ancient object of tremendous value. The Astral Academy, left to rot in the face of the terrible enemy, had no one to keep the treasure safe. The time was right. Okay then. And here we are. If uh, before we do that, though, I'm just going to uh, audio lower that music just a smidgen. Everything was perfect. She had made her way to the castle, and would soon lay her hands on the treasures she so desired. Okay, weird why the subtitles didn't kick in, but yeah, here we are in Shrine. Oops, a daisy. It's been a while since I last played, obviously, 2012 and all. So, <clears throat> let's see if I remember how. Got my grappling hook. Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. Is space also jump? It is. Okay, good. <clears throat> yeah, the game looks really good to say it was back in 2014, but that was one of the um, big characteristics of Trine, was that it just looked amazing. And because this is the enhanced edition, it's clearly got on a uh, visual update. Mm-hmm. Oh, hang on. Mm-hmm. 
Nein. Nothing down here. Nope. The least I can do is try and get all the uh, experience in the Astral Academy. Though I think I already have that achievement. Uh, additional players can join. Uh, there are no additional players. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Did not see that coming. Um, hmm. Okay, can't do that. Can do this, though. Ah, I shouldn't have done that, should I? That was an oopsie on my part. Already mucked it up. <clears throat> you know what? <laughs> do it again. I'm supposed to jump on the fist and then grab the experience, not just shoot the fist down. Mm -hmm. Whoop. I've got to remember, I don't need to hold... Oh, the... Uh... Really? Okay. Uh, restart the level, shall we? On the outskirts of the kingdom... <laughs> Try this again. Everything was perfect. She had made her way to the castle and would soon lay her hands on the treasures she so desired. Okay. Let's not muck this up this time. There we go. Now, how am I actually? How am I supposed to get that? Unless I'm supposed to come back with the other two. Hmm. The gentle moon smiled at the thief as she made her way towards oh. the shrine of ancient treasure. Strangely, the protective charms around the shrine allowed her to enter unharmed. I'm an idiot. I forgot you could shoot them. Ugh. Okay. Let's ignore that muck up. And here's the treasure. Watch this path. Look if you, you notice how there's one path, two paths, and three paths. I got it. As the thief lay her hand on the treasure, she had a tingling sensation. The thief would soon discover that fate had taken hold of her. Unknown to the thief, a wizard was just waking up. The wizard had taken a look in the spyglass and seen the terrible undead army. He was keen not to die. By my trousers, I must escape. He had been studying the stars and trying hard to learn the elusive fireball spell that all wizards ought to know. Of course, that was a lie. For you see, the wizard had a certain reputation with the ladies. What he had really been up to was the creation of a fake fireball potion that would have impressed the ladies and improved his status. The potion had backfired, causing a fortnight of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I forget what the name of our uh, <clears throat> our heroes are, willing or other right, willing or otherwise. I forget what it is. It's Pontius the Knight, Zarya the Thief, and I forget what uh, the name of our wizard is. Thank you. I'm doing a fist there. Oh, I thought that was attached to something. And I see a blue thing up there, so let's go and get that, because I think it's a mana potion. He says, completely forgetting to jump. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Move it out of the way, because the lantern is bashing me on the head. It's going to take me a while to get used to playing um, the 2.5D platformer again. Considering I haven't played one in, well, years now actually, yeah. Not since Trine 3. I hope the music and stuff's not too loud either. I won't know until after I've rendered out the parts. And that's not going to be for another, like, hour or so. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll take the experience orb. Try this again. There we go. I forget how many we can have. Well, really just one. It's a bit disheartening. Is that... That does swing. Hmm. Oh. Hang on. That doesn't just swing. It's a uh, counterweight. Mm-hmm. It's a seesaw. 
I could have just put a uh, a thingy on there and that would have solved that problem, but oh well. Actually, hang on. Whoop, no, nope, there we go. I'll see that up there. Haha. -ha. Excellent. I don't know how many are on this level. It says 50. I'm not sure if that's like how many are on the level or not. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else up here, is there? Don't look like it. Come on. I always forget, it's right click to, uh... No, okay, we're clear. It's right click to move boxes and left click to create them. Well. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Oh, look. My headphones just cut out. Oh, they're back. Excellent. I swear they wouldn't then. My darling, why the painful look on such a pretty face? What is this object you're holding on to? How did you get here? The wizard touched the thief's hand, and then the object. His hand got stuck. What kind of trickery is this? For once, the wizard was more interested in magic than anything else. He was also afraid for his dear life. But there was someone nearby who welcomed a challenge. And thus we meet our third hero, Pontius the Knight. <laughs> this is the game, lords. At the other end of the Astral Academy, a knight had been practicing his own skills to battle the undead and prove himself worthy of joining the king's army. Between me and you, he did not quite understand what undead meant, but this was his chance to be the bravest knight of all. The knight felt it was his duty to protect the Astral Academy during this time of despair. He was on the lookout for anything unusual. Mm-hmm. Push. Uh-oh. <clears throat> okay. Actually, anything down here, or is it just full of spikes? Nothing. Okay. Gotta look out for all those experience orbs. Oh. Speak the devil. Well, no one thing to do here. Take that. <laughs> oh. Okay. Apparently Pontius can shift when he wants to. Oh. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, how to get the last one? Is it just... Yeah. Destroy the platform. Nothing else? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. By the way, um, <clears throat> obviously trying is quite a story-based game. So when there's dialogue, I will be quiet. Even if I have to just, like, just cut myself out. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Hmm. Nailed it. Excellent. The knight saw a faint light coming from the age-old shrine. Could there be a thief? Was this the knight's day of honor? He had sworn an oath to himself to protect the shrine and the academy. Nothing could stand in his way. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go see what's going on. Going on. The knight joined in, taking a firm grip of the object's third side, in a way that only a mighty warrior can. Oh no, this doesn't bode well. What doesn't bode well? There was a flash of light, and the wizard, the thief, and the knight simply disappeared. Our new heroes were overwhelmed by the effect of the mysterious object. The wizard tried hard to remember everything he'd learned of the shrine and its artifact. His mind raced through ancient tales and legends. Finally, the wizard remembered. The treasure, the ancient object, was a device that could bind souls together. How it worked, he did not know. But he knew that it was connected to the legend of the Guardian, 
whose earthly remains had been buried in the catacombs deep underneath the Astral Academy. The tomb resided right below the shrine. The wizard could not explain it, but he was sure the object was called the Trine. The knight didn't care. A more pressing concern was on his mind. Okay. I'll have to put a cut in in a second as well. It's all her fault. We must take her into custody. She stole the king's treasure. Did you not understand a word I said? It is not treasure. It's an ancient object. The trine. I believe it has bound our souls. We are stuck together. But she... You won't. The thief remained silent. She was waiting for the right moment to escape. Hopefully with the treasure and without the pair of fools. Hmm. I think I know how we can use the device as we like. Cool. I need to put a quick cut in and also lower this music because it was very loud in that cutscene. So I'll be back in a second. Okay. I lowered the game's music a bit so hopefully it won't be quite as loud. And, uh... Oh, okay. Let's start stacking boxes, shall we? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot he grabs it by the middle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's one down. Um, I'm guessing there's nothing else in here. Mm, probably not, <laughs> fingers crossed. I am quite bad when it comes to hunting for all these experience thingies. Oh, hello. Oh, he's got legs on him. Also, that is so unbelievably bright. Oh. Walks right into it. I thought I could beat him to it. Should've just blocked. Yeah, well. What are you? Hmm. Seems important. Though it's probably not. My well, experience. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Box me up. No. Oh. Speaking of boxes. Woo, don't fall off. Not that I need to do this, I could have just, you know, made a box, but whatever. I hear something moving. Oh. Oh, I jumped right into it. Like an absolute spoon. Okay. Oh. There appear to be spikes on the floor. Mm. Well. <laughs> That ended well for them, didn't it? Excellent. Ooh. I am quite nervous at the moment, I will admit. Oh. Oh. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Off we go. Checkpoint. Is there anything above us is the question. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Flying then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, don't look like it. Okay. I guess we just uh, drag this along. Boom. Very nice. Actually, I could have just grabbed the cart, couldn't I? That would have made more sense. Oh well. Oh, what have I got myself into? We have to find a way to reverse the spell, to undo the magic. The tomb of the guardian in the catacombs may have the answer. And it's not far away. Mm-hmm. I'm very nervous about moving too far forward too quickly. Just in case it skips any of the dialogue. Because sometimes it does that. I didn't even see that experience there. Hmm. Oh, hello. Come on. That's a present. What is it? Hold a secret. I'm pretty sure that's something to do with the um, <clears throat> with the enhanced edition, obviously. I'm pretty sure that wasn't in the original. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, I actually made that. I didn't think I was going to make that jump. Ah, excellent. Back down. Whoop. Whoop. Not seeing any more experience in this room. Oh, that's just great. 
Oh, that was one in front of me. Spam left click. Mm hmm. Very nice. Oh. Excellent. Not seeing anything. Okay. Oh. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. I see you though. Oh dear. Almost ate that then. Mm -hmm. Got it. Wonderful. Nothing down there? Don't look like it. If I wanted to, I could try and jam these gears with um, with boxes or stuff if I really wanted to. Oh. Got him. Oh. Take him out from a distance. You know, I'm trying to remember if Trine was and has um, <clears throat> extra gear and stuff. I know Trine 3 does, doesn't it? It has things like the um, like the sledgehammer. But I don't remember if uh, Trine 1 does. I think it does. Or at least has very certain objects. Like flaming arrows. Genuinely don't remember. Anything up there? Oh. Hmm. We must do looking at the icons that appear in the bottom corner. Okay. Stack up some boxes to get a better vantage point. You can never be sure they won't put experience right up there just floating. Actually, I don't think they will, will they? Because experience is actually a physical object. So it has to be on a platform. Hmm. That'd be good to remember that. I see you up there. Excellent. Um, what we got? Okay. Try this again, shall we? Oh dear. You move back. You move around like. Oh, you can go. I didn't realize I could go 360. There you go. Move forward a little bit so I can actually move him. Excellent. Nothing down there, is there? Oh, we thought we can land on spikes then. No, nothing here. Okay. Good to know. Can I, uh, I can. Excellent. So far, so good. <clears throat> mm hmm. Oh. That feels mighty suspicious, does this room? Hmm. Well, nothing for it. <laughs> I don't think there's an achievement for doing that, sadly. Or if there is, I've already got it. Hmm. Is that an up thing or a down thing? Looks like an up thing. Okay. Good to remember. Do these destroy boxes? I think they can, but I don't think they can destroy this. There we are. This is a bit of a waste, but oh well. <clears throat> um, how do I get down is my question. Oh, hello. Oh, that'll be how. Try that again. There we are. Oh, those are spikes. I thought they were. Hmm. Not seeing any entrance or anything down there. Oh. That'll be hell. Turns out it was a sliding grate. You didn't just go up it. Okay. Not to sell for the future. Ouch. I somehow managed to make that jump. Though it was the most scuffed of jumps. Mm-hmm. Oh, hang on. Enemy? Must be further down. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh dear. I've mucked this up. Okay. 
so ever slightly. Why? Because I think this works. I think if I can drop this on those enemies' heads, it'll kill them. Right? Yeah. I was indeed correct. Bop. Meh. Off it goes. Oh, actually, there's a uh, health potion there. Mm hmm. Good. Heal up everyone a little bit. Uh, I'm seeing horrible death down there. Of course, I put the box slightly too angled. That's fine, though. We'll live. Only just. You know, there's an achievement actually for um, for having 25 character deaths. Uh, do I still have that little box? I get the feeling this won't be clogged up by my dinky box. Bring you down. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll put you in a further one up. That's not ideal. But hey, it works. Come on, get through. Really? Hmm. That might be a thing you approach from the other side. Ah. Got me again. I'm terrible for that. Hmm. Really? Is that... I guess you can't get through there. Hmm. I'll have to have a look as we get further around. Uh, no, there's a passageway. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know if... Um, Dialogue is affected by which character you have active. I think it is. Weirdly enough. I say weirdly. Oh, yeah, gonna have to take the long way. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. You know what? Why did I do that? I can just do this. Ah. Okay. Try this again, shall we? That box is too big for that platform. Little box. There we go. Huh. There we are. Oh, actually, I don't need to do that. There's a uh, thingy there. Looks like Pontius can only break those. Oh, dear. I thought I was about to get pancaked. Also, hello, secret. Thank you. 28 minutes in. So far, so good. Haven't died yet. Now, can I actually get round here? Looks like I can. Thankfully. I don't know if I can pop that chest, though. I don't think that's a thing I can do. Oh, I can. Uh -huh. This looks very nice. <laughs> Perhaps this journey isn't for nothing. What does that do? Let's strike a deal. I'll help you find whatever you're looking for, and I get to keep all the jewelry. <clears throat> I must say, that necklace looks very good on you. It's a deal. Captain Beerheart would not approve of this. Come on. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, again, I don't know if, um, which character you have active effects, what the dialogue is. Okay, this is uh, less than ideal. I can hit them through the floor, though, so I'll take it. Mm-hmm. Nearly 30 minutes, so I'll have to be ending the part in a moment. Huh. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I made that. That's it. Uh. Oh, mucked it up. <laughs> oh, what the... Whoa. Oh, you can grapple to this. That's interesting. I didn't know you could. Oh, oh my god. Sometimes. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Yeah, we hit 30 minutes. We'll stop in a second. Thank you. Hey, excellent. This must be where I get my abilities from. Oh, no, don't do that. Sometimes the jumping is weird. Okay, let's quickly do this. So we have our three characters. Two boxes. We can have two arrows. 
or 5% chance to score critical, where we know what we're going for. Also, hey, there's the stats. Boxes, please. Because the ability to stack boxes is incredibly useful. Hang on. Oh. Why? Hmm. Oh, it'll be for different um, things we unlock them. I see now. Anyway, I have to end the part here because it's the end of what's past 30 minutes now. So I hope you all have enjoyed and are going to enjoy this series. If you have, leave a like. Subscribe to me, feel free to comment as well. And I will see you all next time.